how to go from an absolute beginner to a number one financial analyst. Someone asked me to tell my story of how I did that. Well, I landed in Thailand in 1992 as a teacher of finance. Within a year, the stock market was booming and I wanted to get in. So I applied for a job and I got a job as a junior analyst working under a salesman who was selling to institutional fund managers. I loved the job from day one. Now I was about 28 when I found that job. So I always tell young people, don't get too impatient. It takes time. But when I found that job, first thing I started doing was reading the news and writing about it. Every morning I had to produce an early morning report. And for 20 years, I produced morning reports together with teams. I was a bank analyst and I worked hard to build out my models and to get to know the Thai banks. Back then in 1993, four, five, six, seven, before the 1997 crisis, things were booming in Thailand. It was a great time and I learned a ton about how banks work, but also how the economy works. Now, because I wasn't so experienced, I didn't predict the collapse that happened in 1997. In fact, I got caught up in it. But what I did is I got better at trying to understand how banks recapitalize after a crisis, how non-performing loans work and all that. That was my first 10 years, basically, as a bank analyst. And then I became a head of research and a strategist for the next 10 years. And as a strategist and a head of research, it's a completely different skill set. The first skill set was how to delegate. I had to learn how to delegate and not write everything and not do anything, but I had to pitch other people's ideas. But I also started to think about bigger, bigger pictures, such as flows of funds, interest rates globally, all kinds of macro trends. Eventually, in 2008, I was, I was voted number one analyst in Thailand. So it took me a long time, and I think I can help other people through the Valuation Masterclass get there much faster. But I learned some key lessons. First of all, I learned I had, to, I had to go through and understand the financials very, very well. I had to learn some about financial modeling, and I became very good at it. But the strange thing I did is I delegated my financial modeling within my first five years or so. I gave it to someone else. And I decided that I would focus on what really matters the most, and that is personal connection, one-on-one, -on -one, number one. That is the most important thing to becoming a number one analyst. The second most important thing is that you have logical arguments, that you have a logical flow. The third thing that's most important about becoming a number one analyst is that you have evidence for your arguments. Many people just say they like this because of blah, blah, blah. But if you have evidence and you've been doing your research, people are going to be convinced. The next thing is to have some good stories along the way to help people get excited about what you're talking about. This is another thing to become a number one analyst. And I would say the final thing for me about becoming a number one analyst is to learn how to present well. I've learned and I studied that for a long time and I practiced that and I enjoy it very much. And one of the key things, a bonus here that I'll tell you, one of the key things is identifying objections. Now, I wasn't a salesperson selling, but I was selling my ideas and I wanted to hear the objections. This stock, Andrew, your idea to buy this stock is wrong because of X, Y, Z. I wanted to hear those objections and I accumulated every objection I could get to try to understand, did it make sense? And should I respond to it? And how do I respond to it? Or do I need to change my opinion? Is this no longer a buy? Is this a sell or is this a hold? Anyways, that's a four minute version of how I went from a beginner to a number one analyst. And I love being an analyst and in the Valuation Masterclass, which I've developed over the years, I've tried to teach young people how to apply these skills so that they don't have to go from 1993 when I started as a beginner to 2008 before they were voted number one. They can get there much faster. I hope that that explains a little bit about what helped me to become a number one analyst.